Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have Evolution X Android 13 ROM for Samsung Galaxy S8, S8 Plus and Note 8. Let's install this ROM on my Galaxy S8 Plus and we will see what we get in this ROM. If this is your first visit to my channel, please consider subscribing. Let's begin. Before we start, you need to have a rooted phone with TWRP recovery installed. If your phone is not rooted, I have a video to show you how to root. The link is in the description. Follow the instructions and when you are done, come back to this video. We need to download two zip files. Number one, the ROM zip file. Number two, Magisk zip file to gain root access. You will find the links in the description. Copy these files into your phone's SD card. This is important because we are going to wipe the internal storage. Now turn off your phone, press and hold volume up, Bixby and power buttons all at the same time to boot into recovery mode. Swipe to allow modifications, click on wipe, format data, type yes to erase internal storage. Then go to advanced wipe, select cache and Dalvik cache, then swipe to wipe. Now click on install, select the ROM zip file, click on add more zip and select Majest zip file, then swipe to flash. Installation is now complete, let's reboot system. Remember, the first port will take some time, so don't panic. Now the phone has booted up, going to settings, about phone. As you can see, this ROM is based on Android 13. Now let's see what you get in Android 13. Number 1. Advanced Clipboard. When you copy text, you can edit the text straight from the clipboard before you paste. This will come in handy when you do not need the text in between or you want to make some changes. Number 2. Improved Security. In previous versions of Android, every app that you installed had the access to send notifications by default. Now every app will ask you for your permission to send notifications. It is how it should be. Number 3. Aesthetics. The animations and transitions are very smooth. You almost feel like you are using Google Pixel. When you go to wallpaper and style, you will notice the color schemes of the theme will match the tone of your wallpaper. Of course you can change from the presets. This is a fresh change and or needed. If you have flashed Magisk, then you need to run the app for the first time to download additional packages. When it is done, you need to reboot your phone. Now let's verify root access. As you can see, we are rooted. Now let's see what we get in this ROM. We have a dedicated menu for custom features in settings. I will quickly run through these settings and show you the highlight features. In themes, you get to change display temperature. There are a bunch of them, but I would still prefer the default one. Then you can toggle light and dark modes. You can even schedule when to turn on the dark mode. You can change the look and feel of notification icons. In status bar settings, you can change clock position, change battery icon style. There are lots of them that you can play with. And of course you can disable the icons 
that you do not want to see in the notification center. In notifications menu, you can change notification LED light color. Then you can turn on camera flashlight for every notification you get. In quick settings menu, you get standard customizations to change the layout. In power menu, you get advanced reboot options, which for me is very essential. I can boot straight into the recovery mode when I want to try the next ROM. Going to gestures, you can see gesture navigation is turned on by default, which is good. Nobody likes the navigation bar anyways. In lock screen settings, you can turn on edge lighting and media cover art that will show up in lock screen when you are playing music. Talking about performance, there is no lag and no heating issues for playing games. Benchmark score of this ROM is good. We will see how it stacks up with Lineage OS 20 ROM. The video is coming up next week, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you are not. If you have any questions, please drop a comment. I will be happy to answer them. I will see you on the next one. Until next time, take care.